It's hashtag TBT. And for Throwback Thursday this week, we are heading back to Fort Lupton, Colorado in February 2003 for part two of a special behind-the-scenes tour of the now-defunct Colorado Railcar Manufacturing LLC shops filmed by museum volunteer Michael McBride. Going over towards, you've seen how we start designing cars. Make sure that they're ADA accessible. We can just about meet any. We've had lots of our potential cu commercial customers ask if we can do hot tubs. Absolutely. What keeps the water in place? It has a, re a retainer ring. Yep. But all of the raw materials come out. And when we were talking about the DMU just a little while ago, I told you that the DMU did not have a center sill. Folks, this is the center sill. If you look at this, it is a massive structure. The DMU ends right here. There is no center sill from here all the way to the other end. It's all carried like in the side walls. The body replaces this center sill, the structure itself. There are engineering drawings. There's QA. Every step, every step of our car is monitored from the raw material that comes in to the person who's welding or assembling it. So when this drawing package comes to the floor, it comes with a bill of materials. We know where we got the materials. We know that it came to this structure right here. We know who was assigned to this project. We know that if he's got four welders on this project, what their qualifications are, when's the last time they passed their welding test, are they current to weld that piece of metal to that piece of metal, thickness to thickness in different variations, or whether it might be core tin to stainless or what it might be. Over on the far side of the wall over there, you can see the dome bows. See them stacked up over there? Those are there for the next set of, of dome sections that we're going to build. This is the dome jig. It's, a, it's assembled totally separate from the lower level. And when this car is completed, it comes out here on the floor. They take two big hydraulic lifts and they put it up on top and it looks just like that car right there. So that car is one step down the production line from what you're seeing here in the assembly of the, of the floors, walls, and dome. And as you can see, these two these are the customer's choice of fabric. <laughs> I think it's lovely, actually. <laughs> This car will weigh 168,000 pounds when it's finished, and the windows in the lower section will be cut out in the next process. Do you have any home movies or photographs that feature the Colorado Railroad Museum, the museum's equipment, or Colorado Railroads in general? We'd love to share them. Contact the Colorado Railroad Museum's Multimedia Coordinator at M-A-T-T-H-E-W at crrm.org. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.